water. Why have I not mentioned to you what is the expansion coefficient, the cubical expansion coefficient of water? Water is so important in our lives. Well, there is a reason why I left it out, because there's something very special with water. If you take 20 degrees centigrade water and you cool it, it shrinks. Normal behavior. Beta has a positive value. But when you reach 4 degrees centigrade and you go all the way down to zero, then it doesn't shrink. It expands it. So in that range from 0 degrees centigrade to 4 degrees centigrade, water has a negative value for beta. When you heat it, it shrinks, and when you cool it, it expands. And that makes water extremely unusual. But it's great for fish, because it means that water of 4 degrees centigrade has the highest possible density. It's higher density than at 20 degrees, and a higher density than at 0 degrees. And so when in the winter the ponds freeze, the highest density water goes to the bottom. That's, why the way, that's the way that fish can survive. Rather than becoming deep freeze fish right there, they can swim. So most of the pond in the winter, the bottom layers, are 4 degrees centigrade, which is safely from the freezing point. Now when you melt a solid and it becomes liquid, in almost all cases, the liquid expands, sort of natural. And so the solids sink in the liquids. If you take crystals, they sink in their own liquid, but not water. Water and ice are very anomalous. If you take water at zero degrees and you freeze it and it becomes ice crystals, it expands. And the expansion is enormous because the density of ice is 8 percent lower than the density of water. The density of ice is 0.92 grams per cubic centimeter and water per definition is one. This is why pipes can burst in the winter when they freeze. The, the pipes freeze, they, people have water pipes near the outside walls, they cool, they freeze, the pipes burst because the ice expands. They're not aware of that and in the spring when the water melts, when the ice melts, all of a sudden they have a flood because the pipe burst. This is why the Titanic sank, because ice floats on water. Ice has a lower density. Without ice floating, no icebergs. This is why you can skate on ponds, because ice has a lower density than water, so ice floats on water. The best way that I can demonstrate to you that ice floats is to treat myself and give myself a glass of something Today it will be apple cider, and I have here some ice cubes. And I put some ice cubes in here, and they float. And if you don't believe it, come and take a look. Okay, enjoy your weekend. Oh no, we still have a lecture on Friday. See you then.